mining industry seems to be especially sensitive to conflict situations. Are there good examples within the mining sector on resolving environmental or societal conflicts? Well, in the mining world, we have both, as you just said, environmental conflicts and societal conflicts. We have people who were surprised to discover that suddenly their normal way of life is disrupted by various kinds of mining for oil and gas or for new metals, and they're not happy about that. And the question is, how can you allow mining and development to proceed in ways that don't disrupt life in an unhealthy or an unacceptable fashion, or that allow people to move and change land uses to make areas for mining that weren't for mining before, but also allow communities to either replace, replenish themselves, replace what they've lost, or grow in new ways. Mining causes conflict. The mining industry has to become more adept at letting people know what the effects of mining are going to be, then engaging all those stakeholders, we call them, in discussions about how to proceed, then monitoring together the effects of mining as mining effects occur, and then learning, in light of what has happened, how to proceed differently or do mining in different ways that take account of different impacts differently from what's been the case in the past. Uh, in Finland, the mining industry and its stakeholders have recently founded a network for sustainable mining. How important do you see this kind of cooperation to avoid conflicts? I think this kind of cooperation is essential. Every time conflict occurs, people scramble. They don't know what to expect. It's the first time in their life or in the work of their company that they've encountered this particular form of conflict. If we can make associations and relationships that build shared understandings of what should be done, what might happen, how will we handle if it does occur, what have we learned from what has happened already, if we can build relationships with this shared knowledge, and we can build trust, which is crucial to how to deal with the surprises associated with development of all kinds, including mining, then the problems won't be as severe. If people can have trust, then they can work together to solve problems when they come up. It's when there's no trust that a problem is magnified, then misunderstandings occur, then everything is amplified, then everything is more difficult to deal with. If we can see in any country, and I think it's great that you've made progress here on this, if we can see public, private, civil society partnerships around mining that build trust, that build relationships, particular problems when they come up will be much easier to handle.